I think the first thing that as heads of talent we have to do is stop being order takers. Most people are making this up as they go along. I remember being in a conversation where it's like, we're going to slow down hiring, microeconomic situation, you know the story. It was early last year. We decided we're only going to hire another 125 people this year. And we have 125 roles open right now. So what we'll do is we'll fill those roles and we will, uh, we'll have a hiring freeze for, the, for H2. How do we know that the 125 roles that are open right now are the priority positions that people want to hire and that they're not going to turn around and go, hiring freeze, if you'd have told me that, I wouldn't have hired that role. I'd have hired this role. This is more important. I, I need to get rid of somebody now to go and hire this position. Okay, so we need to do a reprioritization. So, yeah, we need to do that exercise. So the second thing is, why would we give them all the 125 heads right now? Why would we not drip feed it in and make it sustainable across the course of the next year? What happens if things get worse? What happens if we need to cut more headcount and we've already hired the 125 people? Let's break the 125 people down across the course of eight months. Then if something changes, you can cancel open headcount. And it's far cheaper than laying off people who are already in seat. As it turned out, with the layoffs that happened in that mm-hmm. team, 50% of those layoffs were saved because it was still open headcount because we'd slowed everything down before. Understand that the senior level folks don't have all of the answers. They are very, very good at what they do, but you can still ask really good intuitive questions. The question that's on your mind needs to be asked, not kept in your mind. And you are empowered to go and ask that question. And the moment you ask the first great question, you will become a true partner. And your stock will rise within the company and you'll become an advisor. And all of a sudden, you'll be able to draw more and more out and become more involved and help group think the right solutions and the best way of working. And that all plays into the success of the company.